The goal of the dynamic drop-down menu is to show only relevant information in subsequent drop-downs. This is also known as dependent drop-downs. This is because the contents of the menu are dependent upon another drop-down selection. And to make one in Google Sheets, here are some steps you can follow to create a dependent drop-down list. First is open up Google Sheets, but here we have a sample data. Select the cells that have the fruits from A2 to A5. Then go to Data tab and select Named Ranges. In the Named Ranges pane, enter the name for this name range. And note that the name needs to be exactly the same as its parent category. In this case, it would be Fruits. Then click on Done. This will create a first name range with the name Fruits that would refer to the cells that have the fruit names. Now click on the Add Range option and use the same steps shown to create a name range for vegetables. Now it's time to create the first drop-down list that shows fruits or vegetables as the options. Select the cell where you want to create it and select Data Validation. In the Data Validation dialog box, select the criteria and list from range. And specify the cells that contain the names, which is fruits or vegetables. Make sure that Show drop-down list in cell is checked and click on Save. This will create a drop-down list cell in D3. Now before we create a second drop-down list, go to any empty cell in the worksheet and enter the formula equal sign indirect open parenthesis D3 close parenthesis. This will list all the items from the category selected in the first drop-down list. Since this is a dynamic dependent drop-down list, if you change the drop-down in cell D3 from fruits to vegetables, the list will change and show the list of vegetables. Now the last step is to create a drop-down list in E3, which is our drop-down 2. To do this, select cell E3 and then go to Data tab and select Data Validation. In the Data Validation dialog box, select the criteria and list from a range, and specify the cells that contain the results from the indirect function. It is possible that the number of items in different lists are different, like for example, fruits category has 4 items, and the vegetables has 10 items. To handle this, select an appropriate cell range that should suffice all the categories. For example, in this case, you may select 10 cells in case the list grows in the future. Then click Save. Now when you make a selection in drop-down 1, you will notice that the items in drop-down 2 changes accordingly. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. You may also click and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified from whenever we release new videos.